great. One of the kind of slams Kenya president turns down quest for negotiation. Which negotiation is Kenya president putting up with Nambi Kanu? What gave the Kenya president that confidence that Nambi Kanu will ever want to listen to any silly negotiation coming from him? Is it not same? Is it not that same Kenya president who denied that he knows nothing, absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing about Nambi Kanu's? capturing and extradition. Is it not that same president who denied it that he don't even know if anything of such is going on in his own country after he has been caught, after he has been exposed, that is when he now know that, oh, I am sorry, let us negotiate. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Of course I said so. It's so crazy. That is, that is the attitude of a politician. That is the attitude of a politician. Politicians, we always want to be deceitful. And that is their way of life. And that is why I will always say it that we must not give... 100% attention to a politician. Why? Because they are full of deceit. They're full of deceit. Now he knew and know that they can now negotiate with Nam the Kano because why? Because they, 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 they are afraid of being invited for a trial. <laughs> Wow, so beautiful, my listeners. It's becoming interesting. It's becoming interesting. Let's check the content. A self-styled disciple of Nam de Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Simon Ekma, on Wednesday has challenged the Kenya government as they put up a negotiation with Nam de Kano Consigning his extradition from Kenya to Nigeria. According to Namdi Kanu's disciple, he said, The Kenya government are just trying, but it will never work. This trial has gone so far, so cannot be stopped. Mazin Namdi Kanu has undergone series of torture, pains, and what have you. It is now that the Kenyan government now know that they can put up a negotiation. Have they not forgotten how they kept Nam the Kanu eight days in detention with hard labor? Have they forgotten how they tortured him? Have they forgotten how they illegally captured and extradited him, left him blind for good five hours from Kenya to Nigeria? Still left him blind for good two hours from Kenya Airport to DSS Detention Center. With all this, they are asking for a negotiation. It's a waste of time. Now the Kano's disciples say that nothing is going to stop this very trial or prevent or stop the Kenya government from facing the court because they are the architect of the whole show he ended that of course and that is the truth if you give this a proper look you see that what i've just been revealed right now is the reality these people must not be allowed to go scot-free because of all the evil things that they have done see if you are to talk about an americanus trial you cannot talk about Nam the Kano's trial without mentioning the Kenya. You cannot talk about Nam the Kano's trial without saying, oh, the Kenyans are the people who started it. They will surely be the number one people to be mentioned. You understand? And you know what, my dear listeners? The worst part of this is that 
the Kenya government did not only embark on this journey. They embarked on this journey with a negotiation with a negotiation with the Nigerian government. They were actually paid to do this job. You can imagine. You can imagine. Okay, now. If anybody may ask, how much were they paid? Or which promise was made to them that made them to, 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 to put the country, Kenya, into a jeopardy? Now look at it. Look at it. <laughs> a passenger will always say one word. I de laugh. But people don't understand the essence of that very statement or word. It has plenty content, plenty things in it, plenty meanings. That is what that very word has. But people don't seem to understand. They thought that Obasanjo is just speaking in riddles or in parable. But they, didn't, they never knew that this man called Obasanjo is actually speaking facts. Facts. That is it. That is it. So, I don't really know, I don't really know, I don't really know, but what I know is that the Kenyans will not go scot-free. Nam the Kano has made up his mind, he has made up his mind. Do you understand? He has made up his mind, no going back. Do you understand? No going back. They too must face the music, just like Nigerian government. Do you understand? They too, they, in fact, they're supposed to be the first to face this very trial. But circumstances has made it to be like this. So they should not even plead for any unnecessary negotiation because it will not work. It will never work. Do you understand? So that's just, that's it. Let me hear you speak, my dear listeners in the house, to know what your opinion and your take on this very broadcast may be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.